All right, hey guys, this is Jesse, High Performance Earthworks, about ready to abandon this gray water tank here in Boulder County. This is a outbuilding. There's a couple of outdoor, or a couple of indoor sinks rather, exiting right into this gray water tank. And you can see it's basically clear water here. If you look around the edges, you can see that there's roots infiltrating. And then you can also see that this is a perforated ring. And that's just a, about a six inch deep dish there on the bottom. So I'm just gonna take our hammer drill there. You can see it and put some holes in the bottom. And then we got our dump trailer full of squeegee over there. I know you can only see the, this is some spoils from another sewer line repair we did, but there's the squeegee. We're gonna fill this tank full of squeegee. Bring it up to the brim, put a little soil over the top and we'll be done. All right, so we're pumping it in and out, this uh, water. And this, this pump is a good, strong pump. And I think this is just groundwater. And we're gonna see what happens here. And I actually jumped down in there and it's a false bottom and I could have ended up having to tread water until Josh gets back. Luckily it's just gray water and I think it's groundwater. So is it flowing out there? Yeah. But yeah, that's why you never need, you can never take anything for granted and confined entry is dangerous. Always have a spotter. Always have a spotter. Don't do what I did. Luckily I didn't go in and I didn't lose any limbs. Close calls are really good ways to learn. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, nobody gets hurt, nobody gets injured, mm -hmm. but you still learn something. Right. So that's why I'm trying to. It looked like the bottom was just six inches below the surface of the water there. And so I, I threw the log in there and I was going to hammer drill it out. And then come to find out, it's just a, a biomat of roots and things in there that you can see. And we're kind of going down in there now. And um, then underneath those roots, and those roots are about two inches thick or so, and then there was mud on top of the roots and that made it look like that was the bottom of the concrete. Cause the, the mud was kind of like clay-like, and kind of a light colored like, like concrete. And, uh, but I stuck the shovel, cause I stuck the tip of the hammer drill down through it and there was not, I wasn't hitting any concrete and then Stuck the shovel down through it and it just kept going down, down, down. I couldn't even feel the bottom. So we're gonna pump this out and see how deep this really actually goes. And then we're gonna fill it with whatever material we need to fill it with. So that's what we're in the process. So how do you wanna do this? You wanna leave that going? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. We didn't really come prepared to go into such a deep tank. You know, we thought it was not, not so deep. But now we got to the bottom there, showing the, showing the camera here. And now we gotta get down in there and break the bottom. So that's what we're dealing with. And I'm just trying to decide how, how we're gonna go about it because we don't have a tripod and all the safety equipment for the entry. Let alone the ladder. All right. I'm down in the tank here. I'm gonna show you guys basically I got through, so this is the uh, tank, and then this is my hole. Got a hole in the bottom. You can see the water is draining into it too. So yeah, it's going down all the way down. You can see that. That's where the tank is. That's where the hole is. So that's a broken tank. All right, well, we've put two good one inch holes in the bottom there. It's not exactly draining out. I think it's got some clay. It's not infiltrating very quickly, but we're gonna go ahead and fill this thing with squeegee and dirt. Call it good, call it decommissioned.